Welcome to Draw Stuff Real Easy and today I'm going to show you how to draw an Arab scimitar sword. First, draw the back of the blade very lightly in pencil. Now draw lightly so you can erase the pencil easily when you've inked in the drawing. We're going to draw the tip of the blade in a moment, but for now drop down a little and draw the sweeping cutting edge of the blade that will follow up through and into the grip. Now choose where the guard will go and lightly draw a line across the blade with a little ball on either end. Then draw a curving V-shape over the blade. Next, draw in the tip and smooth out your lines if needed. It's looking good. Now <laughs> sketch in the cutting edge of the blade. You might also find some Arabic decoration on a sword like this. Arabic is written from right to left if you want to see how Arabic is written, go and see this great video. Now, just smooth out the shape of the guard and put a line across the grip just up from the guard. When you're ready to ink, start with the balls on the guard. Don't quite make them full circles, then connect them along the line that you've drawn out for the guard. The guard actually stands proud of the blade so that in a fight the opponent's sword will slide underneath it. Uh, with a bit of a twist you might be able to snap their sword. Now draw around the grip and uh, maybe just put a couple little circles in there for some subtle decoration. Draw two little curves in the balls to give them a 3D effect then carefully draw the back edge of the blade and take your time and flick it down to a nice sharp point. Then draw the slashing side of the blade and sketch in a hint of the sharp cutting edge. You can draw in the pattern and as I said this is just scribbling. I don't speak or write Arabic so I apologise if I've written anything by mistake. And when you're sure the ink is dry you can erase the pencil lines. And put a jewel in the middle of the cross guard uh, and then put some very subtle hatching along the grip some hatching on the cross guard too and then just a few little silver shine marks across the blade to give the effect of metal reflection. Now on Draw Stuff Real Easy we usually draw some shading to put it on the table <laughs> but I'm going to leave this suspended in midair. Go and see this on my website www.shurena.com for the coloured version and step by step guide to print out. The link is in the box below. If you like this video, please like, favourite and share it with your friends. That way I'll be able to do lots more. Keep drawing and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.